Happy Thumbs Gaming. We shall. Hey everybody, it's Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming. Today we've got another Lego Harry Potter Years 5 through 7 video for you. Uh, I'm probably gonna slaughter this, but I'm gonna go ahead and try it anyway. Felix Felicia's story! And it happens to be level 11, which means we are gonna get a level trophy achievement for completing this called a Riddle Revealed. We're also gonna pick up a gold brick for completing the level, and we're gonna shoot for that true wizard requirement, which by our math should be somewhere right around the 45k, or I think that's what it said. But uh, as we regain control of our characters here, we are inside Hogwarts, and we need to follow nearly headless Nick all the way down and around. And in fact, we're actually going to a new area we have not seen. Well, not yet in this portion of the game. We actually covered it in years one through four, but uh, that was a long time ago. So now that we are much older, we're gonna go ahead and make our way out to the courtyard, which then can lead us to the greenhouse area. So, oh, to the yeah, thanks to our recent Recently learned Aquamenti, we can go ahead and fill up this meter and open the door. So look at that. Booyaka shaw. We'll go ahead and make our way out there, down and around. And look at that. We got Professor Slughorn waiting for us, and he's got some tricks up his sleeve. So we'll go ahead and see what he's got for us. Alright, so Harry is still experiencing a little bit of liquid luck, as you can tell by the old golden clovers kind of floating around his presence there. And what we're going to do here is there's this giant plant that's like come to life and it's blocking our pathway out of here. And it turns out there's actually three main roots that we need to remove. And you can see I filled up that tank on the far right side over there with water and it actually started uh, spraying water on this little garden area here. And what we really need to do is use Loomis on that moving lifelike plant over on the far right side up there. But I, I wasn't quite aware of what was going on. So I kept on camping on. And so, so this is what we need to do. We need to remove all of the roots. You can see there's three brown roots. One's kind of hidden in that back right corner, but the other two go right by us. But uh, first one that we're gonna remove is actually inside this greenhouse. Now, of course, if we would have done it right, we actually would have removed the first one that was outside in the front right corner by filling up that Aquamenti tank and taking it out with Loomis. Now, uh, or taking the plant out with Loomis, that is. This was a little tricky too. The, uh, you know, a lot of these things are pretty self-explanatory. I was really confused and unsure of what to do here, and uh, hopefully you guys had a better understanding. But if not, hopefully this video will help. Basically, there are a whole bunch of little flower petal-like buds, I think we want to call them, and you need to target them. And what's going to happen is it's going to kind of chase uh, this main, it's almost kind of like whack-a-mole. You got to kind of hit all of the targets until it finally gets to the end. Um, you can see up in the top left corner right now, there's one more flower bud up there that I need to address. And I'll get to that in a second. But you can also see that one of the brown roots is going inside and into that door. So we know we're close. We just got to figure out how to get inside. And all right, so we've targeted the top. And look at that. It has moved the, I don't know what you want to call it, the plant itself inside the door. And now we've got these three moving like tentacly things. We'll go ahead and, oh, look at this. These three items that we came into originally, we're going to shake them up like little salt and pepper here. And uh, each time you move around, kind of a funny angle here. Uh, it, it actually, each one of these colors changes and grows a little bit more of the plant. But oh, there we go. Took me a second. I'm not sure why that was so difficult. But I, yep, there we go. All three of them are in. Now it has revealed the plant. And we're going to use Loomis Solum to go ahead and take out that first of three roots. So it's definitely wounded the main plant there, blocking our path. But we still got some more work to do. So I kind of wander around because I didn't notice this area off to the far left over here too, but uh, we'll figure that out in a second. I take a couple of swipes at the big plant with Loomis and nothing happens. And that's when I kind of make my way a little bit back and start searching. Look, I even try Reducto. I'm like, yeah, let's use Reducto because it's silver. Not. But uh, All right, wait for it, wait for it. 
little trapeze walking there. And all right, so we walk all the way back, and I see this gate here. And look at that. There happens to be some snare. So we'll go ahead and hit it with Lewis and open the door. And look at this. We found, oh, look at this. We got some poison. So uh, I definitely don't recommend trying this at home. But uh, if you got some plants blocking your path, the poison will usually get it done for you. So we have uh, actually revealed another little greenhouse over here. And inside we notice there's a lock that happens to be silver. So it turns out I needed Reducto after all. I was just a little premature. And inside that cage, once you bust open the silver lock, is the second plants that we need to take out. And second plants. Listen to me, I can't talk today. I'm like Doug yesterday in his stream. And if you didn't catch it, it's comical. I would definitely go check it out. That Dougie plays where he goes and checks out a bunch of the uh, Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, uh, what is it, zombies in space land or something like that? But, uh, all right, so here we go. We've got two of the three down. I figured out that I need to take out these guys with Loomis, and I'm just trying to figure out how to get the right angle on it. But I've almost got it, and look at that. Pow! One more pow right in the kissa, and booyaka shao. We have removed the third root, is what I'm calling it. I'm sure there's a technical term, a Harry Potter term that I'm probably missing out on, but oh, look at that. Now we've got these four red petals kind of open and presented, waiting for us to go ahead and take out. So we'll go ahead and target each of those three, and booyaka shao. He has officially given up, and look at that. We've got a bunch of bricks, some, oh, what are we gonna build? What's this? I am, I have actually forgotten what this is. I guess it's nothing. All right, we'll move along, people. Moving along, people. Nothing to see here. Now we're in a new area. This is kind of tricky. And right off the bat, we notice there's this red wall in the back. So we're going to pull out, uh, what is it, Defendo? And to go ahead and carve it out. I, I, I like, I prefer it being the heat ray. But uh, I guess we can't really call it that considering it isn't a heat ray. But ooh, a blue popsicle and some silver bricks. We'll take those out and we'll snag this lolly and see what we can do. Let's see, we'll go up top. Uh, my assumption is that there is, oh, and there it is. There is the cauldron right there. But oh, it takes us into a cutscene with Hagrid. Ooh, poor Hagrid. Oh, look at little young Hagrid. Oh, oh, oh. Mm. Okay. Huh? <laughs> All right, so you probably figured that out by the cutscene there that uh, old Aragog, the giant spider there, has passed. Hagrid is very oh so sad, and of course, Professor Slughorn sees this as a grand opportunity to get some venom from the spider as. Venom from that type is very hard to find. So, uh, can be, to be completely honest with you, I actually forgot about that cauldron. Remember, I was pointing out that cauldron down below. I forgot all about that. Um, and so, when we return from the cutscene, I go ahead and I use Loomis to go ahead and remove the snare, and I build up the remaining bricks into this kind of makeshift pump system. But it seems to be lacking some parts. So we're going to go ahead and kind of search around and see what we can find. And we start off by using this little Aquamenti spot in the back, which grows this weird, I don't know what that is. It's like a, it's a weird shrub or tree with a cherry on top. I don't know if that's like an ice cream treat for somebody I'm unaware of or what's going on there. But uh, we are going to go ahead and pow everything with our wand and make it rain a bunch of studs and still come up empty handed, not finding what we need. And then I realized, oh wait, I've got access to Fang too, which probably means there's probably a dig spot or something nearby. So I'm not locating a dig spot, I'm not seeing anything. I've completely forgotten about that cauldron down below, even though I'm holding the blue lolly in my hand. And see, what is that? It's like a, I don't know what that is. It kind of reminds me of like a postcard stand or something that like has multiple tiers that rotate around or something you'd find at a convenience store. Very weird. Not sure what that is. Anybody knows what that is? Drop a comment down below and please let me know. I don't know if it's Harry Potter related or just something from the wilderness. But And look at this. We have actually found the dig spot. It's actually off to the right-hand side. And we've used Fang to go ahead and dig up the first, I guess it's some sort of a pad that you stand on. So we'll go ahead and grab that and slam dunk it over here on our makeshift pump. And we just need one more so we can go ahead and pump, 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 pump it up. And all right, so I got this Weasley box here, and I'm like, oh, I wonder what we can do with that. And see, I've totally forgotten about this lower path, and I'm thinking, oh, there might be a lower path over to the left. Nope. But really, I just need to backtrack and go right where I came from, and yep, I figured out in just a second, I promise. Ready? Wait for it. Here we go. Here we go. I, well, that's right. I switched to Slughorn, and I try to use the Weasley box first. I'm like, oh, look at that. He can use it. I didn't. Oh, pow, right in the kisser. <laughs> and that's what you get for trying to use a Weasley box. 
But, uh, all right, promise, it's coming soon. And ironically, if you remember, I used a little bit of a reference earlier to that uh, that weird plant inside the first greenhouse and how it was kind of like a whack-a-mole scenario. Well, guess what? We actually get to play whack-a-mole. I, I didn't say that on purpose. It was just kind of uh, coincidental. And uh, I, I got to be honest, I, like I said, I didn't do it on purpose. And uh, we'll check it out. We'll see what happens here. We've got... Uh, down on the lower level here, we actually need to go up one level and take a left. Oh, look at that. Yeah, there we go. Finally, I spot it and I realize this is where the action is going to be. And look at that. I found some flowers. And now I've also got another item right here. I'm going to pick that up, but I'm actually going to drop the lolly in order to do it. So I dropped the blue popsicle. And I picked up the red spider, but that's indicating for sure that there is indeed a cauldron in need. So we're going to go ahead and get our whack a mole on here. That's right. We're going to just follow him around. I think it takes five shots. There's three, four, there we go, and five. Yep, here he comes. He pops up out with the cauldron, and now we can go ahead and spin it around, and then we can get our dunk on. Here we go. One. Two, and we know that blue popsicle is just right down to our right, so we're going to drop down below or drop it like it's hot. Drop it like it's hot. All right, and last but not least, oh, come on, boys. Why are you blocking my pathway? Ain't nobody got time for that. Go ahead and slam dunk it and get your... S oh, no, we don't take a sip. It actually just explodes and gives us the bricks needed to go ahead and get that other piece. So we'll go ahead and take that up. Put it on the old pump, and of course, we'll go ahead and pump, 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 pump it up. That's right, and it'll take us into the final cutscene, which is actually a little bit lengthy. And uh, of course, we'll meet you at the totals on the other side. So, here we go. One, two, three pumps. Ah, ah, ah. All right, any day now. Level 11 complete, and the uh, riddle revealed trophy achievement should be yours as well. And look at that, we got to the 75% mark of that true wizard, but uh, not quite enough. So, yeah, like I said, our math should be pretty close. It's 40 or 45,000, something right around there, and we fell short, but we did get that gold brick, and we are one over, well, I guess it's not really that big of a deal, one over the eighth of the way mark. <laughs> I'm just trying to make it sound cool and like we're further than we are. We're almost to that halfway point as far as the story videos go, which is pretty awesome. But uh, hey, hopefully you guys have enjoyed these so far. If you guys have any questions or comments or anything like that, we encourage you to head on over to our social pages, which can actually be found. Uh, well, links can be found to that down below in the video description. So we encourage you to uh, check those out because we do most of the work for you. All you got to do is click that link and uh, that puts you right at the heart of our you know releases and all that stuff, all the updates and things like that so head on over to facebook twitter simply comment vote subscribe down below happythumbsgaming.com is also the view let's try that again happythumbsgaming.com is the home of our product and gaming reviews as well as our trophy achievement guides there, you got it right. Uh, I don't often mess that up, but every once in a while I do, and there wasn't really a clean spot to pull out and edit that, so I just had to go ahead and roll with the fail. As for me, that's going to do it for now. I'm going to go ahead and hopefully get on to the final level and finish up year, well, I guess it's year six, but I was going to say year two. But anyhow, as for me, that's going to do it. As always, until next time. Wingardium Levio Sip!